This is the prototype for the uh, repeater controller. We've run in, split out the circuits on the uh, power strip. The repeater is currently plugged in slot number six. Slot number six is controlled by USB or USB controlled switch number zero and that is going directly over to this relay here which I've not labeled yet and that is controlling back to slot six following this lead right here which is called repeater control which is this wire right here which is the first one in the group of three the second one in the group of three are for all five or one two three four five remaining outlets that goes to this second relay the second relay is the controller for that that is fed from a 60 second dropout timer which is against relay number one which is the USB controlled relay from the Mini X computer. I've got 12 volt DC coming in and that's tapped in off a larger transformer that we're using for that runs the Mini X and the control system. The Mini X is over here. There's a mess of wires, but everything's working great. And there is the repeater. And to test, if I manually override this relay, the, re the repeater shut down. It's no longer running. I'll manually take control back on. Now the repeater is starting back up. So we have a successful test on that. The 60 second dropout timer kills all. And I'll just interrupt ground simulating the USB controller. There, I hit it. Everything kills with the system. Relay number one is active. All is killed for 60 seconds, this complete power strip is not putting out any power, including the repeater. And at the end of 60 seconds, this relay will reactivate. So we'll just give it its time here. All this will get mounted inside of this gray Cantax PVC box. All the control stuff. There, 60 seconds is up, relay is activated, the power strip is fully powered now, and we have the repeater is starting back up. End of video.